everyone. Welcome to another video in my rat health series. Today's video is on respiratory infections in rats. Respiratory infections are the most common illness in rats, and this video compiles both some research and my experiences with my own rats to give you an overview on respiratory infections. Keep in mind I am not a veterinarian, and I do recommend doing some of your own research. One website I recommend is the Rat Health Guide, and it's linked in the description below. It's a great website to check out if you want more information on respiratory infections in rats. So almost every pet rat is naturally born with mycoplasma. These bacteria are not an issue unless the immune system is weakened, either by stress or another disease. When weakened, a respiratory infection can develop. Normally, it begins as an upper respiratory infection, but if left untreated, the infection can progress into something more severe, like pneumonia. So, what are the causes of a respiratory infection? Well, there are actually quite a few. First is the type and condition of bedding or substrate being used in your rat's cage. Any bedding that is dusty or dirty, or made of pine or cedar shavings, can cause a respiratory infection. Instead, I recommend a paper-based litter or another rat-safe, non-dusty, non-scented litter. Keeping your rat's cage clean is also necessary for keeping a respiratory infection away. If your rats get chilled by drafts or something cold like water, this can give them a respiratory infection too. And the same goes for having poor ventilation in the cage. This is one of the reasons why tanks and plastic bins are not suitable for rats. Other things that can cause respiratory infections are overcrowding, other diseases, or stressful or painful situations. Essentially, proper rat care is the best thing you can do to prevent respiratory infections. Genetics can also play a role in respiratory infections. Whether your rats are from a breeder, rescue, or pet store, it can make a difference. Often, due to the stressful environment and poor rat care given by chain pet stores, on top of other reasons, rats from them may come already sick or with the high potential to become sick in the future. This is one of many reasons why I no longer get my rats from pet stores. Early diagnosis and treatment of respiratory infections is the best way to keep them from progressing because they can progress quick and become more severe to the point of death. So what are the symptoms? Symptoms include lethargy or loss of energy, frequent sneezing or wheezing, increased porphyrin around the nose and eyes of your rat. Porphyrin is the red blood-like substance typically found around the eyes and nose. Porphyrin is normal and it's common to be seen in those places, particularly just after your rats wake up. Usually it's cleaned quickly by your rat. So if you're noticing lots of porphyrin and it's not being cleaned away, that's when it becomes abnormal. Crackling noises in the chest are also symptoms, as well as other sounds accompanying breathing. And if you notice their sides moving in and out as they breathe, or other signs of difficulty breathing. If you notice these signs, take your rat to the vet as soon as possible, as they will have a professional opinion and will be able to diagnose and treat the infection. For more information on signs of illnesses in rats, you can check out my signs of illnesses video linked in the iCards. So what does treatment look like? Well, that depends on the severity and type of the infection. Your vet will most likely prescribe antibiotics, but may prescribe anti-inflammatories, something else, or a mix. The story of my girls going to the vet because of a respiratory infection is linked in the iCards. Unfortunately, respiratory infections tend to stick around, so treatment is often aimed at control rather than cure. Again, the best thing you can do if you notice your rats showing symptoms is to take them to the vet and follow their directions. I hope this video was helpful in teaching you about respiratory infections in rats. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. You can also follow my rats on Instagram at Fond of Rats. And don't forget to check out the Rat Health Guide for more information. The website is linked in the description below. Thank you for watching. Bye!